engine assembly is a time consuming task and it does require some knowledge, a lot of patience and a good understanding of math and basic mechanics. But to ensure your engine lasts as long as it's supposed to and performs up to its peak potential, you are going to need some specialty tools to go along with your basics so you can assemble an engine accurately and reliably. And we're going to go over some of those tools in the order that you'd use them. Like micrometers and a dial bore gauge, calipers, a rod bolt stretch gauge, torquing tools, piston installation items, camshaft degreeing and valve train setup, and the cleaners and lubes we like to use. To really assemble an engine correctly, you'll need a set of micrometers. Now these will be your biggest expense, but if you take care of them, they will last you a lifetime. Now mostly they're used to measure crankshaft journals and to set up your dial bore gauge for measuring other parts of the engine. Another critical thing is a rod bolt stretch gauge. Now this is a great tool for checking the bolt stretch. That is critical for engine longevity and to keep the bolts clamped the way they're supposed to be. A quality torque wrench is also essential. You want to make sure to have a 3 8 drive and a half inch drive one on hand. That way you've got both ends of the torque range covered from the low to the high end. Now these are Matco click type wrenches that are high quality and will last a long, long time as long as you take care of them. When building an engine, clearance ranges depend on the purpose of the engine and how much power it will produce. The rings are also gapped differently depending on if the engine is naturally aspirated, blown, or a nitrous user. The proper way to install a piston in a bore is with a ring compressor. Now there are several styles depending on your budget. The first is a universal band style that uses a square key to tighten around the piston which compresses the ring pack. Next in line is another band style that's made for specific bore ranges. It uses a pair of specialty pliers to compress the rings. Finally, there are tapered compressors. These are a tapered sleeve that the piston passes through and that's what compresses the ring. They're available in adjustable or for specific bore sizes. Knowing the position of the intake center line on the camshaft is critical in any engine build. Degreeing tools include a degree wheel, a deck bridge with a dial indicator, and a lobe lift tool that fits inside the lifter bore. Last, but certainly not least, are cleaners and lubes. We'll use brake cleaner and lacquer thinner to clean parts, extreme pressure lube and some Max Tough for high wear surfaces, ARP Ultra Torque Lube for consistent torque values, and to round it out, a good old fashioned can of oil for all other wear surfaces.